head over to Ubuntu's website and download the ISO file, link in the description. I never make promises, cause I don't keep them higher and miss you. I never make promises, cause I don't keep them higher and miss you. Download Rufus for free from its website, link in the description. Plug in your USB. This device will be formatted so make sure you don't have any important data on this USB disk then run the Rufus tool you just downloaded. It automatically identifies the plugged in USB but double check it anyway. Now, browse to the location of the downloaded ISO image. Ensure that it uses MBR partitioning scheme and BIOS target system. Hit the start button and wait for the process to complete. Your live Linux USB is ready. In the Windows menu, search for Disk Partitions and go to Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. In the Disk Management tool, right-click on the drive which you want to partition and select Shrink Volume.
Plug the live USB or disk into the computer and restart the computer. While booting the computer press F10 or F12 function key to go to the boot menu. Now, choose the option to boot from USB or removable media. You should see a screen like this after you boot from USB or removable media. Select try or install Ubuntu and press enter. The first few steps are simple. You choose the language and keyboard layout. If you see the Install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager on the Installation Type screen, you are in luck. You can select this method and hit Next. But if you are one of the unlucky ones who don't see this option, no need to worry. Things are not that bad for you. You can still install Ubuntu with Windows. On the Installation Type screen, go with Manual Installation. It will take you to the Partitioning screen. Remember you had created some free space beforehand? Select the free space and click on the plus sign. It will provide you with the option to create a Linux partition. You are creating the root partition. Anything above 25 GB is more than sufficient for it. Choose the size, select extension 4 as the file type and slash, means root, as the mount point. Next, create a swap. Like previously, click on the plus sign again. This time, use the file type as the swap area. Ideal swap size in Linux is debatable. If you have 2 GB or less RAM, use swap double the size of RAM. If you have 3 to 6 GB of RAM, use a swap of the same size as RAM. If you have 8 GB or more RAM, you may use swap half the size of RAM. Similarly, create a home partition. Allocated maximum space because this is where you'll save music, pictures, and downloaded files. Once you are ready with root, swap, and home, click on next. Next, you'll be asked to enter a username, computer's name, and password. Select a time zone when asked. Now it's just a matter of waiting. It should take 8 to 10 minutes to complete the installation. Once the installation finishes, restart the system. You'll be asked to remove the USB disk. You can remove the disk at this stage without worrying. The system reboots after this. If everything goes smoothly, you should see the grub screen once the system powers on. Here, you can choose Ubuntu to boot into Ubuntu and Windows Boot Manager to boot into Windows.